Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. Today I am reviewing one exciting balloon garland kit. Why exciting? Because it's a double stub balloon garland and it has so many goodies inside of that kit. The name of the company is Well Up. I've never worked with them before. I'm excited to see how this balloon garland will perform, quality, and everything else in between. Let me quickly show you a picture that they advertise this balloon garland kit on Amazon. It looks pretty cute. This kit includes 203 pieces in gray, white, blue, and green balloons with some orbs balloons as well, which is awesome. This kit will cost you $25.99 right now, and you can click this box and save 5% at checkout. Looks like this kit is very loved by customers because it has five reviews and all of them are five star. Let's go open this up, let's go dig in and investigate this kit a little bit closer. So this is the package that I received from Well Up. It's a pretty big package. Let's open this up and see what's inside. Let's quickly go through this kit and see what we have. You guys, this kit is very interesting because first things first, it's double stuffed and second of all, this kit includes these long 260s, I believe, balloons. I haven't seen a kit uh, yet that would include these balloons. So this is very interesting. We have a whole bunch of double stuffed balloons. This paper with instructions, foiled balloons, balloon tying tool, balloon strip. We even have two of them and one roll of glutus curling ribbon. As I look through this, I see that these balloons, these pretty chrome blue colored balloons, they are not double stuffed, they are single stuffed. The rest of the balloons are double stuffed. All ready to inflate my balloons. I am using my electric balloon pump from Lauradale Paper and Balloon Company. I didn't mention, but we are working with 5, 10, 12 inch balloons, and I believe these are 24 because I don't see a size for these. Also, I didn't notice, but we have these green chrome balloons as well, and they are not double stuffed as well. Since we are working with a balloon strip, we need to inflate our balloons individually and tie them individually. I'm still thinking what I really want to do, either use a balloon strip or use 260s balloons. I don't know. Before I decide what to do, let me show you how I inflate a double stuffed balloons. Double stuffed balloons, double layer of latex can give you a bit of trouble to inflate them. I use this trick every single time, but it does not work on double stuffed pearl balloons. Pearl balloons are a lot more stiffer and it's harder to inflate them. If you want to double stuff, just double stuff regular latex balloons. So I'm taking a double stuffed balloon, putting my balloon on a nozzle with my two fingers. I am pitching both balloons at the very top and while inflating, I am pulling these two balloons upwards. That way I am giving my balloons a stretch and it would be so much easier for air to stretch the balloons and inflate the balloon. done inflating my balloon I am pressing my balloon against the floor to give it more rounder shape and using my balloon tying tool to tie my balloons that's all you need to do and I feel like I want to use a balloon strip for this garland instead of 260s these balloons are pretty soft so you don't really have to pull them upwards if you have trouble use the trick that i showed you to inflate my orbs balloons i am using my hand pump but the reason is because orbs balloons self-sealing balloons foil balloons they have this uh, very thin plastic you insert in them and if you will be using warm electric balloon pump you have a chance that you can melt that insert and your balloons will start deflating. I learned that a hard way for me hand pump works 
the best it might take a few minutes uh, or seconds not minutes longer but i know for sure that these balloons won't deflate out of the blue unless they have a hole somewhere you need to inflate your orbs balloons until seams on the balloon won't have any wrinkles if i look at my balloon at my seams i still can't see a little bit of wrinkles and I totally don't mind because I don't want to overinflate this balloon and pop it. So just a tiny bit of wrinkles is okay. If you see your balloons is still kind of like square and has really deep and big wrinkles, you need to put some more air into the balloon. second day i left these balloons laying on the floor overnight and most of the day today and i don't see any latex balloons deflating on me the only balloons i see deflated on me these silver bigger orbs of balloons but not that bad i'll just add a little more air and they're gonna be fine time to construct my balloon garland as you can see this strip has two holes bigger hole little opening and a smaller hole i am starting to insert my balloon through the bigger hole making sure that the knot is completely through the hole sliding through the opening into a smaller hole and letting go that's basically all you need to do to construct this balloon garland once in a while you might want to skip a hole or two if you see your balloons are starting to pop out out of the strip that means there's no room for balloons to lay nicely in the strip skip a hole i will be inserting my balloons on one side only personally i don't see a difference if you alternate sides or not i will be working with 10 inch in my base probably only 10 inch i will leave chrome orbs and five inch balloons outside of a strip and i'm still deciding what i want to do with these bigger size latex balloons on my backdrop i really like what i see it's looking very cute i love the colors very pastel very macaroon like very adorable i have a lot of balloons on the floor right now i need to fill in spaces with them by using one roll of glue dots you guys i wish they included two rolls of glue dots but instead they included two rolls of balloon strip i would have to pull out some of my own glue dots to finish this up and we'll see how that's going to look. I like the quality of these balloons. I lost two balloons, inner layer of latex and outer balloon on one of the balloons. So we're minus two balloons. How I hang my garlands, I will link a video of commonly asked questions in that video. I show how I hang all of my garlands using backdrop, safety pins, and extra string, and how I hang all of my garlands using command hooks. With backdrop, it's very easy. Pin safety pins to the fabric, grab extra string, and tie your balloon garland to that pinned safety pins, and voila. If you want to see it, video will be in the description under this video. Let's grab our glue dots and finish this up. Oh, that's why you need to be careful with blowing your orbs balloons. I didn't really inflate this balloon all the way up and it exploded on me. Hmm. I will replace this one with one of my own uh, orbs balloons. Oh well. It happens.
I am done constructing my balloon garland. I really like what I see. As you saw, I brought two of my own Orbs silver large size balloons just because the one that I inflated a little bit more deflated again and another one exploded in me. So it's looking very good. I wish I had more balloons to build up this portion over here to kind of like raise it. I have a few balloons laying on the floor, five inch. I'm gonna fill them in, in to my acrylic stands and I'm gonna put my spin on this garland. Cannot wait, let's go. my hydrangeas and my stems they do have wires it took a lot of strength but i am bending these stems just to curve in the vase and putting those stems right into this jar kind of bending and seeing what's best Here's what I have for you guys today. This is my final balloon garland setup. I am in love with this balloon garland. You guys, I absolutely love all the pastel colors, all the bright colors, orbs, chrome, amazing looking balloon garland. I don't know what happened with those two orbs balloons, why they deflated on me. I don't know, but the rest of the balloon garland is very good quality. I did use extra roll of glue dots, some of my own, to finish filling in spaces on this garland. I wish companies would start including more glue dots in their kits, maybe someday. I hope so. I didn't put my own spin on this garland for one reason only, because already this garland has a lot going on with chrome and orbs balloons. It's a lot. If I would have added something on top of all this, I think it would be too much. This looks perfect. I bought these acrylic stands at eFavor Mart. I will link them in the description under the video. I really like them, but the only thing I don't like that I had to use these zip ties to connect all the walls together. They did provide something translucent, like ropes, to tie all the walls, but they were untied, so I had to use these uh, small zip ties. I have to like glue all the walls together or do something because I don't like that I, I can see those white zip ties. I bought these two glass jars at Home Goods a while ago when I was still decorating weddings and other events. They are very, very pretty. I bought my flowers at Walmart, so as these greeneries as well. I will link and list everything in the description under the video, and some pictures will be at the end of this video as well. This is it, you guys. This is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful and inspiring. If it was, you guys, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It's always helpful. If you have any additional questions, leave them in the comment section below, and I will be there to help you out to the best of my abilities if you're new here what are you waiting for hit that subscribe button for more videos and i hope you'll have a wonderful day and i will see you back very soon bye